Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to see another important uh, thing that comes into play when we deal with numerical analysis and that name is error. Okay, so whenever we uh, do some calculation, whenever we deal with digits, there will be either chopping or roundup error. So due to that error, if imagine that if the error will occur in beginning and then you apply numerical method then what will be the solution means what error will have that solution so that depends on the propagation of error that means error depends on operations mathematical operation if we apply different mathematical operations then what will be the error so that is called error propagation and based on that there will be error propagation theorem so let's start with error propagation theorem so first statement says about the addition and subtraction of error so what it says in addition and subtraction a bound for the error of the results is given by the sum of the error bounds for the terms so for that we need or to prove uh, the first statement we need what error bound so we have to uh, see that so proof of first we will see so let x be the true value and x tilde be the approximate value and error is epsilon x ok similarly if we take y another number y the true value then y tilde will be the approximate value epsilon y is the error then what happens we can write it as the write it as a number beta x okay which bounds this error similarly for y we can write it as beta y now we have to prove the statement so for that first we will take the subtraction so if we take subtra subtraction so what will happen x minus y okay minus of x tilde minus y tilde so if I do then what will happen it will be x minus x tilde minus y minus y tilde ok that I can write so what is that this is epsilon x this is epsilon y so again this I can write it as modulus of this plus modulus of this now we can see that the difference is less than or equal to the sum of the error ok and this will be less than or equal to what beta x plus beta y now the statement proved it says that this less than or equal to the sum of the error bound Similarly, we can prove for addition. Now we will see the second statement. Second statement tells about the multiplication and division of the error. So, what happens in multiplication and division, an error bound for the relative error of the results is given approximately by the sum of the bounds for the relative error of the given number. So, for that, what we need? We need relative error so what is relative error that i will write epsilon r x for x that is error divided by true value error is what x minus x tilde divided by what true value is x so this is relative error for x similarly relative error for y is this is epsilon r y and this will be x minus sorry y minus y tilde by y ok now we will use this and we will prove this statement so first we will take the multiplication so multiplication what will happen we will take x y minus what x tilde y tilde divided by x y so we will see this thing so x y I will write this and in place of x tilde what I will write if I take so it will be x minus what epsilon x so minus of x minus 
epsilon x into y minus epsilon y divided by x y okay clear now this i can write it as x y minus x y if i multiply so it will be then again minus of minus plus x epsilon y then minus of minus plus y epsilon x then minus epsilon x epsilon y divided by x y take its mod okay then the first two term will cancel out so remaining term will be this here we can see that as the error is very small so if i multiply two error it will be more small that means if i take epsilon x <coughs> is uh, 0 0.001 and epsilon y is 0 0.0001 then we will get the multiplication as 0 0.00001 0 1 so that will be very small so we can neglect in that sense so we will we'll neglect it so if we neglect those things so what we will get we will get x epsilon y okay plus y epsilon x divided by x y and its mod so what will happen if i divide it will be epsilon y by y plus epsilon x by x okay this one so if i take uh, more than this will be epsilon x by x mod plus epsilon y by y mod okay so what it tells so this will be the relative error of x and this will be relative error of y so this Prove this statement second. Okay, that means the sum of the bound of the relative errors. Okay, so as we have this value, some value, so I can write it as some bound. So uh, bound Rx, I can write it as uh, bound for this error plus bound for this error Ry. So this completes the proof of second statement.